I think you're faster, actually. I couldn't be. You made millions MIH. Of course you're faster. Um, anyway. Anyway. Ask about Epstein. Jeffrey? Yeah, Jeffrey. So how was he? At what? At just talking. Was he... Smooth. What was his personality? Cool motherfucker. Like, tall? Tall? Uh, hands Taller yeah. than me? Shorter Taller than me. I'm, I'm like... Uh, I used to say I'm 5'11", because I was 5'10". Mm. So I'm 5'10". So I used to be 5'11", though, because I lied. Right. Now I don't lie. So I'm 5'10", now. So he was smooth. He was taller than me, like two inches taller than me, three inches taller than me. Yeah. He dressed beautifully. He had the salt and pepper hair. He was very powerful, and he owned the hottest nightclub. Like, 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 not the hottest nightclub bullshit. Like the number one nightclub in the city at the time. Right. Or he just told everyone he didn't, and you know you can't tell who really owns these things. Right. But he he took me there as the owner. Everyone treated him like the owner. Everyone called him uh, Jeffrey, whatever the fuck the name of this nightclub was. Let me think of it. Provocateur. Je Jeffrey Provocateur. I met him as Jeffrey Provocateur. If I knew it was Jeffrey Epstein with all this shit on him, oh, yeah. even though I have a crazy background, I would have stayed away from him. Mm. He's such a big bad guy. Right. But I knew him as the coolest club owner. Mm. And he was spending $30,000, $40,000 a night on, on girls with me. And the girls said all they had to do was party with his friends doing coke. And hardly any of them even had to fuck the guys because their dicks didn't work from, you know how dicks don't work from coke? Yeah, yeah. So like, they just, and girls love doing coke. So they're hanging out with rich, crazy people whose dicks don't work for big money. He was the best client. I don't know anything about like people being recorded, like celebrities, this and that. The girls always told me everything. I never heard any big name. Maybe they told them he was extra money, don't tell Jason. Right. Who knows? Right, right. Who fucking knows? I mean, just personality wise, you, you I mean he was just an associate and an acquaintance, you guys broke bread. I mean He was a client yeah. and uh, the girls were saying, Jason's so cool, like you're so cool, you should meet Jason. Yeah. So eventually he wanted to meet Jason and we got along really good and we went to his nightclub three times. Right. Would, would you say he was an articulate guy? Yeah. Was he, oh, super articulate. How did he speak? I mean, he just... got Les Wexner, the head of the Limited and uh, Victoria's Secret, to sign over attorney of power to him on his all his money and everything. Like that guy trusted him for everything. Wow. Wow. Well, like he was a very. This is one of the smoothest people ever. Like he was very punctual, very incisive, right? He was smooth, like my friend Brett Ratner, the director, who's one of the smoothest people in the world. Like, define smooth. Like, he can just... Brett Ratner did Rush Hour 1, Rush Hour 2. Rush right, now I'm aware. Money I, Talks, I, I Red know, Dragon. I, I'm aware All of right. Mr. Ratner. Ratner is the smoothest guy in Hollywood, if you know him in person. Yeah. He could get anything from anyone just by talking. I mean, have even you ever... before he was powerful. Have you ever even just broken he down... He took me to Studio 54 when he was 17. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. But Jeffrey When he was Epstein, 17? When yeah. he was 17? So he's younger than you? Or yeah, younger than you. Younger, wow. Jeffrey Epstein in his own way was as smooth as, as Brett Ratner. Right. I mean, how can you break down someone's speech? Hey, you think you can break down his personality, I guess? I mean, in terms of how he spoke. I'm talking about that Brett Ratner could move around powerful people like nobody's business, so could so could, Epps, so could uh, Jeffrey. Can you uh, give an example of what it means to be smooth? Are we smooth? We're, we're smooth, but not smooth like, like uh, Ratner or, Epps, or Epstein. But can you tap into that energy somehow? That smoothness, if you know what I mean. I've probably been as smooth as I've seen at times in my life. How do you break that down? How do you make it into a science? How to be as smooth as Epstein? How do you teach charisma? Can you teach charisma? Is charisma smoothness? Well, I've seen certain situations where there's a salesman that sells like as much as 50 people in a company. Can I try to be smooth with you? Can I? Uh, sure. All right. I'm sorry. No, because you made it clear that you're not gay, so yes. Yeah, of course. Okay. Hey, how you doing? My name is Jeffrey Epstein. How you doing? Okay. Hey, well, let me tell you something. I, 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 yeah, I got a, this amazing nightclub fuck tour. Most beautiful girls. No, 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 listen. I was sending girls to his Upper East Side townhouse, which is like $25 million. Got it. And they're meeting unbelievably powerful people that they love. Like, the girls are fighting for the appointments. Oh, right. Okay. So imagine I'm... They're paying top dollar for girls. They, Got they it. They paid fairly.